Let's talk about the healthiest oils to use when you're deep frying, okay? Now, the oils that you should avoid when deep frying are the unsaturated type because those are very unstable and they oxidize very easily, especially when you heat them. And that would be the soy oil, the canola, the corn, the cottonseed, the sunflower seed oil, the safflower seed oil, as well as the peanut oil. And so there's a certain chemical compound that's created when you heat or fry these unsaturated, very delicate oils. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's advanced lipid oxidation end products. Now, and these are compounds that have negative effects on your heart, and there's even a chance that it can increase your risk for getting certain types of cancer. And some of the effects are more damaging than consuming sugar. There's also a study that I included down below that demonstrated that it can slow down autophagy, which is the recycling of all damaged proteins in the body, and your mitochondria, so that's not good. All right, so here are the best oils to use when you're deep frying things. Coconut oil or palm oil. Some people don't like to use palm oil, then great, then don't use it. Use coconut oil. Tallow, that is uh, fat from beef. I recommend doing the grass-fed beef fat versus the grain-fed beef fat because it's going to be healthier. Tallow is an ingredient that we used to use way back. It's loaded with vitamin B3, niacin. It's actually... It's a good fat to fry with. Number three, ghee. Not butter, but ghee. This is clarified butter. They filter out all the salads and they get rid of those and you're just having this pure fat. It's a very good fat to fry with. Number four, olive oil. Now, even though the olive oil does have some unsaturated fats, it seems to be okay for cooking as long as you keep it below about 400 degrees. And avocado oil is another oil that you can fry with that seems to be fairly stable. But these fats will not turn into this compound, and so they're more stable. So they're not going to oxidize as fast, and they're going to be uh, safer when they're heated. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product, or you're new to keto, and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto, and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.